Welcome back to LX News. At the age of 27, Formula One test driver Tatiana Calderon is setting her own lane. She became the first Latin American woman behind the wheel of an F1 car. She was the first female driver to win a national championship in Colombia for karting and also won a national karting title in the U.S. And that's just a small breakdown of her many accomplishments. Hopefully not the last either. Recently, Tatiana is among the leading female drivers featured in the documentary Beyond Driven, which is available on video on demand. I'd like to welcome Tatiana Calderon to our show. Hi, welcome. I want to start off by asking you, uh, what has training been like for you during the pandemic? How are you staying active? Hi, Alex. A pleasure to be with you today. Um, obviously, it's been a challenge for, for everybody, but particularly your sport um we we depend on on many people to be able to train in in and to travel so i've been very busy doing simulator work uh doing some workouts at home running a bit outside and working my neck i think is is the most important thing and so far i think um i've been lucky that uh, i haven't had uh or I, I feel fitter than ever Race car drivers do neck workouts. You learn something new every single day. That's awesome. I, I want to ask you, um, it's like every kid's dream to be a race car driver, maybe along with an astronaut and firefighter. I'm wondering how does one actually get into it? Everybody wants to do it, but how does one get into race car driving? Well, to be honest, in my case, um, randomly, like my sister took me to a rental go-kart track near our house. We bought a five minute ticket and I fall in love with, with the speed, with the adrenaline. And I think that's that's what we need to show. Sometimes people people think, uh, well, that it's more for, for male or for, for the boys. Uh, but actually, if, if you like it and you try it, um, you fall in love with it. So hopefully there'll be more girls uh, seeing us and and wanting to try it and i think uh, the most important thing is that that you find your passion and for me it was quite early in life so I, i've been very lucky yeah okay so you, you just brought up an interesting point right and it goes with the theme of this new documentary that's coming out so i do want to talk to you about gender for a second i'm just curious i'm sure you get asked in every single interview what's it like being the only woman this is a male dominated sport right we hear that all the time but i'm, I'm curious more than that you're a race car driver and you're really good at it and you're young and you're doing amazing things those are kind of those should be your first titles but female seems to be tagged on in the beginning of that she's a female driver i'm just curious what's it like to excel at a sport and then have an extra title tagged on there she's a really great female formula driver what's that like yeah i think because i have been almost the only one in every category that i've been racing in um you sort of get used to it but but it pisses you off sometimes when they say, oh, for a girl, you're quite good. But honestly, I want to be treated like like uh, the same as anybody else. I'm just a driver with a helmet on. And in this sport, the, the stopwatch is the one who who leads, not your gender or um, how fit you are, how tall. So, um, of course, it's um, you want to prove uh, that you're there because because you're a great driver. And you want to earn that respect, but in that sense, um, it, it has all, also been a little bit difficult for people uh, to change that perception and to think that uh, that we can be as competitive as, as a guy. So we have to change their minds um, initially, and then they start to treat you like any other driver. Uh, but to earn that respect has not been easy, I have to say, and hopefully this will all change uh, when, when we start to see more women um, entering the sport and changing that perception. I'm curious how that happens. Um, I'm assuming little by little. Are you, are you playing a role in that? How are you pushing for more women to be out there on the track and pursue their own racing dreams? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a, it's a long process. Uh, it doesn't come overnight, but I think um, in general, uh, women are excelling now more in sports and uh, we're being given more opportunities and i think that's that's what we need to do so i'm i'm also working with with certain initiatives um from from the fia women in motorsport commission it's also called there to be different uh, girls on track so we are trying to show girls uh, from from schools um since a, a very young age that motorsport is um 
is an option for them, not only as drivers, but engineers, um, PRs, team managers, uh, there, there is an option for them. And I think you have to try it uh, to see if you, if you like it. And, and this is a start and obviously having role models. So, um, of course, now I'm, I'm a test driver in Formula One. My, my goal is, is to race there one day. And I think if, if I make that, that last step, um, well, more girls will for sure watch Formula One and then they see that it's possible. You have to believe and see it. Uh, to believe it so hopefully we can start to change that perception and get more girls into it because i think we can do a, a great job i definitely think so too and i do not doubt that you will get to the formula one stage thank you so much tatiana thanks for having me and hope you watch the documentary and find out more about women in formula one